I went to my first Catholic media conference in Brooklyn. It changed my life. I'd been in the Catholic press for a while, but I'd never been to a conference. Once there, I got a sense of belonging, professionalism, and support that has carried me through the past decade happier than I ever been before. I've only been to one Catholic media conference, it was in St. Louis, and it was life-changing in terms of my career in many ways. I feel like I got some really practical tools for the craft of journalism, but I would say the two biggest things I got were a broader sense of community and purpose. And, you know, I think we all can feel like we're working in our silos as Catholic communicators. We might irk some people in the Catholic community sometimes if we're doing journalism with integrity. And we probably don't fit into all the journo scenes where people might not have a full understanding of the church and might have some prejudice against the church. So we might kind of feel outsiders. But to come together with other Catholic journalists who are smart, who are passionate, who care about their faith and reporting on it well, is just the sense of community. I've only been to one Catholic Press Association conference, but it was so inspirational that I can assure you that if you're on the fence about whether to come to a conference, it's worth it. Not only will you learn important insights about your, how to do your job better and with more heart and faith, but you will meet people who do the same thing that you do. I have never been to a conference, but I am really eager to meet other people who do what I do, because I've never, since the time I've started working in Catholic media, I've never met another Catholic journalist, aside from the people who I work with. So I think it would be very exciting to meet someone, talk about different challenges and shared experience. There are younger journalists who will inspire you. There are older journalists who will give you advice. How often do you meet someone who has the same struggles, the same delights, the same challenges that you do? It's something that can carry you through your career. You're not alone. Face-to-face -face is really the way to make it all happen. We're not in this for the glamour. It's definitely not in it for the money. And most of us, um, I know, have many gifts and can do other things. And we feel like this really matters, that our work has significance. That happens virtually, but it happens with more power and impact, I think, in person with other flesh and blood people.